had the biggest needs of picture you ever have. Hopefully my head's in frame here. You guys have to excuse me if I pause and cut this out for a minute and have to go re-blow my nose. Ugh. All right, welcome back to Air Power, and this is the Urokubi Sakuri. I am wanting to take the handle off today, depending on how tight it is, if they have it epoxied on or not, it's, it may be difficult. And by the look of this Suba with the glaze or painting, whatever they have on it, I don't know how well it'll hold up to uh, smacking on it or tapping on it to try and get all this off. So we're going to try our luck today, and I'm taking it these two Makugi pigs. I don't know whether you guys can see very close to this. These two Makugi pigs, one is here, and uh, the other is up here. I'm going to try and, uh, I'm taking it, they go in this way, because I can see them from this side. And this side, they're kind of hidden behind the Ito which is the wrap on the suka, the handle, sky, whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to find my rag here. I'm not going to blow my nose on it because that rag has oil all over it. And uh, I'm going to turn it this way so the blade sharpness is not pointed towards me. Let's find this first Makui pig here, which is right up here behind this here wrap. Try to tap it out here with my, uh, my little punch. It don't seem to be wanting to go that way. Let's try it the other way. It doesn't seem to be wanting to move here. Uh, I would figure it went in that that way, but maybe it went in this way. Now they got these in here tight. Okay. So these are slightly tapered, you can barely see it. You guys have to excuse my nose. Just I had a sneeze fit as soon as I started the record button. Oh man, this thing wants to turn on it here. So we'll allow it to. A uh, little hammer and a little pin thingy for this. I just knew that on one. Uh, sometimes this can be a headache, especially when your soup is wanting to uh, turn with you. My vice is out in the shed where I usually do this, but there's no way to get the camera going there. I do not know if this one does go the other way. Because this don't want to move that way, hardly. I don't know, guys. These things are hard to get moving better that way. Now, I thought this was going to be the hard part. Usually, uh, usually you would have to uh, do this, and the blade would vibrate out of the uh, 
Suka. This one seems to be in there pretty good. a lot of wood chips there's one of the sepa there's our suka really heavy made out of uh, cast iron probably just iron suka I don't know about cast iron but I'm sure it's cast but our other sepa is on here pretty tightly. We're going to leave that on there. I just wanted to take a look at this. Uh, these uh, holes are really rough, have burrs. Where after they drilled them, they just left it. I'm going to clean that up. All in all, the uh, tang on its it's okay for a hundred and seventy, hundred and eighty something dollar sword. Can't expect much out of it. But I'm gonna clean those up. So uh okay. Uh excuse me, I have to blow this nose. Alright, I'm back with you guys. Let's set the katana down over here. Let me uh move some of this stuff here out of the way. And uh, I'm going to clean those burrs up and then put the katana back together. I want to show you guys if I can get, if you can see this, I'm not sure. I don't want to get up and move the camera around and zoom in and out too much. You guys can see all that stuff right there that came out of the sleeper. But like I said, a hundred and uh, eighty something dollar sword there. I think it's a decent quality for a for a hundred and eighty nine dollars. This is one I've had. You hopefully you've watched the unboxing of this Uno Kubi Sakuri. If you haven't, you can go watch that. If you watched the video where I cut earlier today, you can see how thin this blade is from here. To the tip you'll see that it's not really made for cutting 
one gallon uh this is pretty thick plastic that was on them uh laundry turned jug and that uh uh fruit juice jug was even thicker plastic those being full of water that thin blade you watch it that video in the slow-mo you can see the blade have a wobble to it when it hits that heavy target and uh, i was also doing bad cuts because my focus was kind of off in that video and uh, that sword was kind of being pushed a little to hitting heavier targets like that with that thin steel but it held up it's a damascus steel if you've seen it i don't know if it can get the uh damascus look on the camera if you can see that grain pattern in that blade it's really nice <clears throat> There's another blade coming to the channel from this maker. Uh, when we get it and unbox it, I'll put a link in the description to him. It's, uh, on the unboxing this video, it's in there. Uh, it's a, it was a, let's say, about, it was a hundred dollars more than this sword. So I'm expecting it to be a little better quality. And, uh, it is a T10 blade, so it'll be my first T10 blade I had. I have. Yeah. It'll be my fourth katana, but the third one I actually own in my possession. I gave the Musashi bamboo fast cutter to my daughter, and uh, she loves it. So uh, I, I'm gonna file this and clean it up and put this thing back together. So till next time, guys. Our power's out.